all good. Bapidi babu, bapidi babu. Oh, wow, I have a very scattered shadow behind me. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Hello. Welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna paint my nails and I'm gonna talk about masculinity and my relationship with it because um, yeah, I just really need to do it again because it looks horrendous. So let's pick out a nice color together. Um, let's go over to the wall where it's all that. I'll take you out. There we go. This is, oh, sorry, where all my nail polish is. I'm not sure which one to take. How am I feeling today? I could go for yellow. Oh, this one's also cool. I kinda wanna do all of them. My girlfriend gave this one to me like a few weeks ago and I kind of want to try it out. Like, how do you call this? Um, this has a name. It's the name of a jam, I think. So, 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 so. Ah, uh, well. So yeah, I chose this one. It's like a nice dark blue greenish. I wanted to make a video on this because Conan Gray uh, made a video on this like years ago. It like really helped me a lot in self-acceptance and I kind of like could resonate with what he was talking about quite a bit. So that's why I wanted to make this one. Wow, this actually, I like this color a lot. I've been doing this for about two years now and I'm still terrible at it. So please don't hate me for doing it wrong. But um, <laughs> I've definitely had my struggles and it took me a while to get here. Growing up, I always knew that I was a bit more uh, feminine than the average boy. Especially in high school, I had mostly friends who were girls. I was pretty sensitive and I cared about everything basically. I really had a hard time fitting into that cube uh, of what masculinity was for me at the time. In high school, I didn't really have a lot of friends, especially like in the early years. So I was really scared of being that weird dude. So I was really scared to express myself in any way that was different than the rest. So yeah, for many years and years, I just pushed it away. I love this color so much, oh my God. Emerald might be a way to describe it. I'm not sure. But then in fourth grade, I would say, I started listening to Cave Town. And I also saw that video from Conan Gray. And I found ways to express myself halfway through the fourth year. So when I was like 16 or 17, uh, my personality started to change a little bit because I just accepted more who I was. This is really hard to do at the same time while you're choking. I became more open and really like embraced the fact that I was sensitive. I started wearing funky socks like these. I can't even do this. <laughs> Come on. There you go. <laughs> wearing blue socks right now. And over here I have a lovely rainbow. Yeah, I started wearing funky socks and just different clothes, like more colorful. I started taking small steps into being who I was a bit more. Around that time, I also made my very first real um, friends who were boys. I also started with YouTube. So I was doing these things that I've wanted to do for a very long time, but I was still like really insecure. And then that summer, which was the summer of 2020, I assume, I also started skateboarding. Yeah, at the skate park, I just discovered some new parts of myself. I grew my hair out, my clothing style changed again a bit. I made a lot of new friends and I started wearing secondhand clothes. And I just felt like I discovered myself a lot more. My confidence also grew a bit. At the skate park, I also painted my nails for the very first time. Or uh, a friend of mine did it actually for me. And I was really scared, but with uh, like a, a healthy amount of peer pressure, I gave in and they painted my nails black. I had to get used to it because my hands look different than usual. And it's super weird to see nail polish on your own hands for the very first time. I really liked it, like it felt like me. And then it's cool, yeah, there are like some people who made comments about it, kind of making fun of me, but not really. Not as much as I expected, there were just like a few idiots who were just laughing about it. But around that time I made some new friends and I didn't care as much because although that like 95% of the school probably like didn't like me at all, I still had that 5% and that was really helping me to bring that out in the school too. Because I just accepted that I didn't have to be friends with everyone. That's a great lesson that I learned. Like I was still really insecure in high school and in my class I didn't really have a lot of friends. Like I had some okay people that not people that I would actually hang out with or people that would think of me during like a group project. This year has been great for my confidence. I'm caring a lot less about what others think. I'm still not there, but I, yeah, I just care a little less. In the end, what really helped me was like actually painting my nails because it made me feel so empowered because it was something that I wanted to do for like years before that, but I just never did. In the end, it was just a little paint on my nails. People will always say something about it because either they just have to get used to it or they're just not nice people. Now I think I'm cool while I'm wearing nail polish. I'm very proud of myself for doing it now. More often than before now, I really look into the mirror and I'm like, wow, 
I look cool today. It's completely okay to express yourself in any way you want. I write weird songs, I make stupid YouTube videos, and I paint my nails. I, I have weird clothing and I have weird humor. And that's okay, because that's just who I am. I can either accept that or bury it away and be someone else who I don't want to be. You should be who you are. And if you want to wear nail polish like me, then go for it. Um, how long is this already? Let's see. 20 minutes. Nice. Editing Robin is not going to be happy again. Have a great day. See you soon. And I'll see you next week. Hopefully. Yeah, well, I'll see you next week. I'm, I'm confident. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.